I'm Ivana Manley from Manley Labs. We manufacture a wide range of audio equipment, uh, professional audio equipment and hi-fi equipment in Chino, California. Um, I've been doing this since 1989, um, managing the company and working with the gear and working with people too. So I really enjoy being in the audio business for sure. Uh, at the show this year, we have a brand new product called the Manly Core. And the Core is a less expensive channel strip it's half the price of the, the big Vox box. And now how did we do it for half the price, you ask? Well, with careful planning and careful engineering, we uh, really kept the labor down, and we still have all the really nice parts and componentry that sound good, but uh, we made this thing really fly together. And that's really important. So going through the unit, first we have a tube mic pre with all the usual features, so the uh, high-pass filter, phantom power, phase inversion. There's a line input here you can select. There is also a direct input with a 10 meg ohm uh, buffered circuit. It's really quiet and you can plug your guitars or keyboards into that with no problem. Uh, next we go into the tube mic pre and it's uh, very similar to the Vox box but uh, harkens back to the original implementation of that circuit. So it's slightly cleaner and uh, maybe a little quieter than the Vox box implementation of that circuit and it might be that we we revisit some of our older circuits and go back even further to the original design. Uh, from there we've got a feed to the compressor. So the compressor like the Vox box works in parallel with the input attenuator and uh, so it really puts, puts the action of the compressor before the mic pre. And that's kind of unusual. It's kind of cool. It also makes it very difficult to overload the mic pre or the amplifier, uh, the first amplifier. So the LOP compressor, it's a three to one ratio. You have variable attack and release, just like you do with the Vox box, except we have pots, not switches, on the Manly Core. At this point, there is a direct output. There's also an insert point right there. Then we come into an equalizer, a solid state equalizer, Baxendahl shelves, high and low shelves, and a sweepable two range mid frequency EQ with a cut and boost of uh, 10 dB plus or minus 10 dB. After this, we head into a really fast fed brick wall limiter. Um, and if you really push the release all the way fast, you can get some kind of crunchy, cool distortion, maybe for guitars or so for vocals or for overall mixing, if you had two of these, you'd probably want to keep it on the slower side. So the fast fit limiter is not going to let anything through. It's really, its main purpose when you're tracking is to not overload your HDs. Metering is good in the unit. You've got, uh, you can meter the tube preamplifier output. You can meter at the final output and you can also look at the gain reduction of the compressor. The meter is illuminated blue. It's very pretty. The whole design of the box is laid out to be really easy to use. Your hand should just immediately go for the knob that you need without having to study a big grid of knobs. As you can see, the shapes here, they, they really lead your arm to go for what you need to use. Um, the power supply design, I'm really excited about. It's a very geeky thing, but we have a new power supply design it's a switching power supply. It's, it was designed for us by the worldwide expert in this technology, Bruno Putzies in NAND and uh, the Hypex guys. It's a great power supply. It's, it works at all voltages in Japan, Europe, America. You don't have to reconfigure the voltages. It's a super low radiation design, so it's not infecting anything any other gear above or below, it's not infecting itself. It doesn't radiate any noise hardly at all. Uh, all the rails are regulated, which is a plus and something we were not doing previously with the linear supplies. Also, um, they're much quieter and uh, they're, um, it's, it's just, it's such a joy to work with this new technology. It's really something new for us. I'm really, really excited about it. So it's quieter, sounds better, uh, lower, lower noise radiation, and it's a plus on all fronts. We're really excited about this. This is uh, designed for audio. 
and designed for vacuum tubes. We're running 300 volts. It's the real deal. Uh, and that wraps up the core, and we hope you'll enjoy it soon at your local dealer. In France, here, the importer is Jukebox. You can get in touch with them. Really enjoy being at Audio Days and get the chance to to talk with everyone and show them our new products and uh, just hang out with everyone. The, the studio here is gorgeous. It is a little hot with all the lights on, but it's really a joy to be here in France. <laughs>